Hi guys, I just wanted to come to you today and give you a little quick update about where we've been and what has been going on. Show you a wonderful game changer for dinners that we have um, been doing the past week and it's definitely something I'm going to stick with. I might change it up a little bit here and there, but it's definitely something um, that is really working for our family and so I'll show you that in a bit, but first I'll give you an update. We, um, of course, it's December, so it's a very busy time for us. We have a lot going on. We have a lot of um, uh, recitals and things going on. Actually, my daughter has a gymnastics recital tonight, and she will be going because she's the only one who's not gotten sick um, thus far. So, our family has RSV right now, which um, I don't ever recall us having before. I don't think when my oldest two were younger um they were in daycare and i remember them getting a lot of things but i don't ever remember them getting rsv so if you have any tips or tricks on how you get your family over that quickly and keep it from spreading we would love it because i have been using all the the hacks i can think of to use we've been doing elderberry syrup which i'm out of we use so much of it we've been doing probiotics which i'm out of we use so much of it um so i gotta restock all those things in the next couple days I'm doing lots of vitamin C, garlic, and, and different things. So anyway, um, our garbage truck's coming, so it's going to be loud. Um, Chloe started with it last Thursday. Today is Thursday, so she's had it a week today. She's not running a fever anymore, but she still feels really bad. She's still in bed. Um, I'm not the garbage truck for <laughs> And Hunter started with it. Tuesday, he was coughing a little bit. I didn't think much of it because he's a um, like an allergy cougher usually. So Wednesday, let's see, Wednesday he coughed all day long from the time he woke up. It sounded horrible, very barky. Um, Chloe had her recheck at the doctor, so I took him in. He spiked a high fever that afternoon, like 1025. So I went in and took him in, and the doctor said. He's pretty sure with, with the symptoms that the entire family has had that we have RSV. So um, that's what we're fighting right now. Isaac woke up this morning with a runny nose. He felt kind of warm when he laid down for his nap. So I suspect that um, he's going to wake up being symptomatic also. He's had a little bit of a cough on and off. Um, so that's what's going on. And I am so thankful that this is the week I chose to try what we're trying. So I'm going to go in and show you that real quick with our meals is what I mean. Try what I'm trying with our dinners. So I don't know if any of you follow the family fudge at all. Um, wonderful lady I found on YouTube and she has a lot of dinner hacks. I was actually watching her school um, lunch box, whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. Anyway, where she shows what she packs for her kids' lunches every day and I was just looking for um, some different ideas for lunches for the kids. So while looking at those, I stumbled upon her video of crock pot chicken freezer meals. So it was five or six meals. It was all chicken, which I'm sure my family's tired of chicken by today. But anyway, it was all chicken. It was all done with bell peppers and onions and garlic and different seasonings for each one. And we had all the seasonings here. So I bought chicken, I bought um, onions, and I bought peppers and pretty much had dinner for the entire week. So we are down to day number four, and today was um, chicken Philly cheesesteak, which is looking really yummy. And we have one more left in the freezer, which we have chicken fajitas. We have our chicken fajitas left. And so I just, I just separated all the ingredients out, the raw chicken, um, and put all the ingredients for whatever recipe was needed into the bag and threw it in the freezer. It took me like a total of 30 minutes to get it all in there. My camera died while I was doing it. I was, was recording it for you guys. Um, and so just the night before, I throw it in the fridge to defrost when I get up. Um, usually not when I get up, but like 11 o'clock or so, I dump it into the crock pot and by dinner time it's ready. We have had to make a couple little sides to go with some stuff, but tonight we won't chicken Philly cheesesteaks. We'll just... That would be filling enough or if somebody wanted carrots or broccoli or something like that with it um it has been such a game changer and something i'm definitely going to stick with doing freezer meals 
when I don't have a lot of time on the weekends to pre-cook and make casseroles and things to put in the freezer, we're just going to do crock pot chicken or crock pot freezer meals because it is such a lifesaver and we have a hot wholesome meal every night. Last week it was like we had to do something because my husband would come home and there'd be nothing thought out, nothing made. He made breakfast a couple nights. Like it, it's just chaotic. It's a chaotic time of life right now and with all the sickies going on, it's just really hard to get in here and prep a meal every night. So. have a little helper now she's gonna help me chop 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 and I've got a big bowl of peppers here that I just chopped I poured myself some more coffee got some chicken in the crock pot of stuff I'm gonna make tonight I accidentally froze all of this chicken so I just stuck it in the sink to get it just where I can peel it from the package just to get it in some freezer bags for the rest of the week so I'm gonna start chopping these onions and this garlic and get all the ingredients out I need for this. I think I'm doing Hawaiian chicken tonight. I'm not sure. Um, and Maddie's going to help me. A jammy day. A jammy day always with Maddie. Huh? Well, it's a very cold day, so. That's a good day for jammy. It's a perfect day for jammies, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> The watering. Why? I don't know. From the onion? I don't know. Maddie looked at me and said, I can't take it anymore. I guess the onion was really making her eyes pour. <laughs> Mommy feels like she's crying. <laughs> okay, we gotta go see her screaming. Get out. Maddie and I are gonna get this going in the crock pot for tonight. So we're doing Italian chicken. That it calls for about a cup of onion. Chop that other onion. A cup of onion. That's the onion that's gonna make your eyes water. Just warning you. Two cloves of garlic. I remember that time when we cut onion. Mm -hmm. We're running a little low on garlic, so to use garlic powder for the rest. Yeah, Isaac, Chase! We're trying to run out of food, right, Mama? We're trying to run out of food. I hope not. But not all the food. That wouldn't be good, would it? That wouldn't mm -hmm. eat. Boy, eat. Go to the store stuff. I just went to the store twice this weekend. Mommy went to Costco. And then mommy went to Walmart. Walmart. I love Walmart. Why do you love Walmart? Because they have so much toys. They have so much toys? You don't like toys. Yes, I do. I don't think toys are not fun. I just took Toys R Us book, so I do. Um, cloves of garlic. Let's see what for next. Just try next calls for a quarter cup of honey. Ah. Never tried this before, so I'm hoping it's tasty. 
I have a taste of sweet gold. Can you hold this? A spoon. Do you think this will taste yummy, Maddie? Mm hmm. Tablespoons of olive oil, and I think I'm just gonna eyeball it. Are your eyes watering again? Yes, because of the onion. Okay, let me see what's called for. Two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, like just what I had left. Salt and pepper. You're allergic to dogs? Yes. Hmm. That's why I sneeze all the time. I didn't know that. Okay, so then it called, I don't know if you can see, my lighting's pretty dark in here. Um, it called for two cups, uh, or two cups, two cans of diced tomatoes, and now I'm just mixing all of that up. And looks yummy. This will be dinner tonight. Then I'm going to assemble the rest of the bags for the rest of the freezer meals for the week and hopefully be serving better dinners this week huh what's wrong with you madison won't let you do a turn okay can you give mommy a minute please then you can help that is our game changer and if you guys have any tips or tricks or wonderful easy crock pot freezer meals that are not chicken i think we're a little chickened out please leave it in the comments below and if you're new here don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe we'll see you soon